Man, something feels a little wonky. Oh crap, I got a flat tire. Man, that can be a problem. <laughs> Old Man Ronan here, welcome back to the channel. Yeah, have you ever had the experience when you're out riding around, whether you're on a long distance trip, or if you're, uh, you know, back in the woods like we were just at, and you notice that you're, you've got a little bit of air pressure problems? <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. There's a company that approached me here about a couple weeks ago, and I finally got it. And uh, I, I hope this is gonna be the solution for this problem. So far, it seems to be. And that solution is uh, this. Now, uh, I don't get paid to talk about what we're talking about. What they did do, though, is they did send me this. And this is a, uh, a little air pump. And it's pretty easy to use. All you do is pull the, uh, the nozzle out of the self-contained unit, uh, screw it in, and simply turn it on. Uh, one of the things I think is pretty cool about this is the fact that you can actually use it for not only your motorcycles, uh, and it's got a preset right there, uh, not only your motorcycles, but also you can do a car, you can do an inflatable, you can do a bicycle, and each one has its own setting. Now, I'll try to get this the best I can. Let's, uh, let's move over to the uh, bench. Well, let's start off by showing you exactly what you get with this product. And it, of course, it's the Airmoto portable air pump. And uh, what you get is this little case here, obviously. And this little, I mean, this thing is not much bigger than a cell phone. It's a, I'm not going to put the exact uh, uh, dimensions in this thing because it, you guys can find this on <laughs> anywhere online. We're going to show you a real world application. But what you do is you pull out this little. Uh, air nozzle and screw it into the uh, the uh, top of the unit it's got a little yellow tag there and that little little yellow tag says that uh, under high use it will get hot and you have to read your instructions but when you turn it on basically all you do is push the button down and hold it till it starts to flash like that and then you're gonna see a series of numbers uh, and we're gonna set it up and show you what we're talking about if you notice here, there's a little ball. I don't know if you can see it very well. I'll try to get it as close as I can, but of course this camera doesn't have a focus. It uh, basically just shows you what your, basically your eyes see. But if you push the button down, it uh, moves it to, uh, you can see a car there. You can see a, a motorcycle, a bicycle, of course a ball, and of course individual, whatever you want to set it. That'd be where I would say the inflatables go. But uh, for the old man Ronan show, <laughs> let's set it at uh, motorcycle. Well you'll see when it comes up on the motorcycle, I have it set at 32 pounds because that's the uh, pressure for the front tire of the Meteor. Now I can drop that pressure down and uh, the front tire pressure on the Himalayan is 27 pounds. So what we're going to do is basically s set our air pressure on the Himalayan at a lower rate and then fill it up and see what happens. So obviously I didn't get stuck in the woods, but we did let a little air pressure out of this tire here to uh, show you uh, how it sets up with the air moto and uh, we'll see how much we need to actually go. We want to set the air pressure for 27 pounds. It's at 23 pounds, so we're a little bit shy. So let's uh, start her up and see how long. We're going to run this actual time. Yeah, it didn't take any time at all. And it comes up with a little done mark right there. Well, let's say we let a little more air out and see what happens. We'll see what that brought it to. Well, we're still about the same. Maybe I'll let a little bit more out.
There's 17 and a half pounds. We'll see how long that takes actual time. And there you go. Uh, I'll tell you what, I love the fact that it turns off automatically when it hits that number and it flashes a little done sign. That way you can uh, unhook it. But uh, let's do a really hard test. We're going to take it to our, uh, our farm Jeep that we don't really take on the road and uh, we're going to let some air out and see how she handles that. Well, we're back here at my uh, farm Jeep, and uh, we don't actually put it on the road. We use this for back in the uh, back in the farm. But uh, we're going to check the air pressure here. But first, let's set it to. It's still on motorcycle. We're going to set it up to car, and uh, then we're going to see what kind of air pressure we have. And it says it has 30 or 26 pounds. So we're going to turn it on. Well, there you go. Now, I did speed the video up because it took seven minutes from the time I turned it on to uh, it getting full there. So, uh, let's go find out what we've learned. Well, what have we learned? Well, when I was approached by Aeromoto to do a uh, video on this, uh, you know, there's no money. I'm not getting paid for this, but they sent me one for free, so that's full disclosure. And uh, I wanted to see exactly what it would do before I ever put my name on the uh, uh, on a video for this. And what I found out is, if you're doing it for cars, it's at the very edge of what it can possibly do. It'll do it on a charge, but it's not really gonna. It's not something you can you can blow up a bunch of tires. But if you're using it to just lower and upper the air pressure on smaller vehicles and things like that yeah it works great as far as motorcycles you know, this is kind of the deal man so far and I'll say so far I always want to preface it but it was able to bring the motorcycle tire up uh, quite a bit in a very short period of time top it off because you guys know that anytime I go on gravel roads or back on dirt roads I like to lower the air pressure in my uh, in my tires on my motorcycle so I get better traction but then again I want to make sure that I get back up to highway or tarmac uh, pressures before I go back on the road. And what I've used to do, and I haven't shown you this, but I carry this little hand pump, and man, it's a pain in the butt. <laughs> but this, I think, will uh, will do a pretty good job. And I'm able to make multiple tire uh, changes, air pressure changes, with uh, one charge. But really cool, it's got a USB charger cable that comes with it and then you can put it to your uh, USB charger on your motorcycles or your cars or what have you. So that's really a big plus. Have you entered the uh, Max Eyewear sunglass giveaway? You notice that little uh, logo there? Mm -hmm. But you better enter. So all you have to do is tell me what time this thing popped up, send me an email and make a comment below and you're automatically entered. We've given away quite a few and we're going to give away even more through the entire month of October here. So make sure you do that. <laughs> These are great sunglasses built specifically for motorcycle riders. 
Well, I really hope you enjoyed this video and videos like this because it was a lot of fun, yeah, and eye-opening, more important than that, than fun. Uh, I always wanted to have something I could carry along with me to give me the ability to easily change the air pressure in my tires, particularly when I'm going on and off-road. And up in the shop here, it'd be nice I don't have to drag my big air compressor around if I want to check my air pressure in my all the motorcycles that I have. And what I've found out so far is I can do multiple motorcycles on one charge. And the fact that I've got a USB capability, it's got a permanent home in the saddlebags and the panniers. So that's, uh, anytime I'm on the road, that's how I'm going to take it with me because you never know what's going to happen. Well, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you give us a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that bell notification button. Share and comment. You know I read all the comments and comment on as many as I possibly can. Until next time, guys, ride safe and keep her on two wheels, baby.